So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a discrimination window. So if you wanna discriminate a range of items on your disc, or just discriminate one item, something you don't wanna dig. I'll show you how to do that. Straightforward, easy process. So once you've found the rejection point and the exception point of the range of items or item you wish to discriminate, you can continue. So I know that the item in question is accepted up to just below 40 on your main discrimination and it's rejected just after 40 on your alternative discrimination. So as you can hear, the coin's been accepted by your main discrimination, but rejected by your alternative discrimination. So as you saw in the previous photo, I placed down a penny. So as you're here, main discrimination is a high tone. Alternative discrimination, push forward. Also is a high tone. So we know going back to the pound, the old pound. The main discrimination is a high tone. Alternative discrimination, push forward. Is a low tone. Depending on how you're searching and what you're looking for, you can set up the disc to reject and accept or accept and reject certain ranges, all depending on what you want out of detecting in the ground. But don't forget, when you discriminate out anything, you literally can lose some nice items. So always bear in mind that if you can, dig everything and only use discrimination really when you need to, when it's a must. So if you wanted a bigger window of discrimination, set your main disc lower and set your high disc to the certain range you wish to discriminate up to. So everything on your low disc, on your main disc, anything above here will high tone. Anything above here on your alternative disc will low tone. So when you get high tone on your disc and a low tone on your alternative disc, you know that the items within that range.